back to Miss Creative Queen or welcome if you're new. So in today's video, I'm showing you guys my March Bullet Journal spread. This was supposed to be uploaded much, much earlier, but I was having some issues with YouTube not publishing my video, but that's fixed now. So here's the video. So make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification for future videos. And here's the video. So I added an extra rain dump to my February setup and it added another quote I will not be stopped because I had the page empty and then starting on the March spread first I had a quote page which says if you can dream it you can do it I think that's just a really motivational quote for me because I have so much things that I want to do so just a good quote and I am using a ink joy erasable pen no not ink joy um, I'll link it in the description box below, I can't remember what the name of the pen is, but I got it from Amazon, and this is my favorite pen. Anyways, um, I did mess up the C and I had to erase it, but the eraser was dirty, so it like sort of smudged it, but we fixed that. And now I'm going to add flowers. Also you guys, um, comment down below how many times you see someone else's hand or finger or something because my family decided to just keep on making little appearances. Now I'm just erasing, so I couldn't find my eraser so I just used the back of a lead pencil. Now on the next side, wait before we go to the next side, I'm coloring this in. So I'm going for the theme of like green florals for March and I'm just coloring in the if with the start green and the it also then I'm going with the lighter green and um, highlighting the letters dream and do it then I'm going with another green and going over the color the letters you can and now I'm going to color in the flowers with purple because I'm just adding a little hint of purple in the theme. Then I'm just going with purple, a pinkish color, and just adding little doodles. Now for the next page, the March page, I'm writing March in cursive and then I'm just like putting like leaf vines going down which I saw on Pinterest and I thought this was very cute so I added it to my journal. So after I finish the lines, I'm going to go in with the green and fill everything in. But first we got to erase the lines from the pencil. So I am again using the same three shades of green. I got from Walmart a while back, maybe like two years ago. So next I am doing my monthly page. So I'm just writing March at the top and adding a little line going around it or beside it and just 
basically sort of like the vines on the other page that I did. Now I'm just making the monthly layout. And so I'm just going seven by five and just adding those boxes. And at the bottom, I'm adding a section for note. And I did find my eraser. I actually walked around the house and I saw where my eraser was. So I think I forgot to add the boxes. So I started coloring the vine first and adding color to the march. And now I realized that I had to add the boxes. And so I'm going to add in the horizontal lines right now. Now I'm just going with a green highlighter at the top and I am going to add purple squares in the corners of each box and these are for the dates and then the days of the week I'm going in with my black erasable pen which I have linked in the description box so feel free to check it out and I'm adding the days of the week and the numbers of the days and now I'm going in with some green floral washi tape like I did on the other page and I'm also adding this purple polka dotted um, zebra print washi tape and then on the next page we have our brain dump and this time I'm making it two pages because last month I made it one page and had to add another page so it's gonna be two pages and I'm just adding a box Erasing all the pencil lines and going in with green to add a drop shadow to the ladders. Also, you guys, I know right now there's um, a lot of stuff about the virus going on, and everyone is just scared, and most people are either self isolating or quarantined. So I do have some videos relating to that coming up, so make sure to um, look forward to that. Anyways, I just added green to the vine, and now I'm moving on to the next page, which is a productivity meter, which I did do last month also, and I find it really, really helpful because it just helps me stay motivated to get things done because I want to add them to the meter. And I'm just doing the same setup I did last month. disappeared to so this whole March spreads are without a ruler I know they will look nicer with a ruler but it is what it is I still like how it turned out anyways my camera stopped recording for some reason but I finished the whole boxes and I'm just adding a green drop shadow or highlighting the whole letters green and then I'm going to add green and the horizontal boxes at the top for the columns and then I'm going in with purple for the the vertical row at the very left which is going to be for the days of the week I mean days of the month each number 
So 1 to 31. And so now I'm going in with my pen and I'm writing level 1, 2, 3, 4 plan and the numbers of each day. some washi tape at the bottom so now I'm going on to my dream tracker which I've been doing this whole um, year um, because I do think it's nice to write down my dreams to go back to later because sometimes I do have some weird dreams but anyways I'm just writing them in bubble letters or block letters and then I'm making my box which is just gonna say date and details of the dream or it says description actually and I'm just erasing the pencil lines and going in with green to add a drop shadow to the letters and now I'm just adding the line going down on the left side and I'm doing the same exact trackers that I did last month so I'm adding six trackers each with 31 squares in them Now I'm adding the numbers in each of the boxes and this was a little hard process. My hand did start hurting because writing tiny tiny numbers a lot is hard. Next I'm adding my face mask tracker because I'm trying to do one face mask per week so that means for a month and I'm just using my habit trackers to track it so this month I decided to draw four flowers and, and I'll color each one in then I also went in and added a purple drop shadow to the habit tracker and then added green and purple highlights to each tracker and I'm just writing what each tracker is so I'm tracking how much water I drink my sleep, my studying, my exercising, my stretching, and my elastics for my braces. Now I'm just adding washi tape and um, my camera did cut off again but I did add my weekly and here is the whole monthly flip through. Anyways, this is the end of the video. Make sure to stay tuned for new videos. I have some interesting videos coming up and make sure to subscribe and click the bell notification so you'll get notified for those new videos if you did like this video make sure to leave a thumbs up and also make sure to comment down below what ideas for videos you would like to see on this channel anyways i'll see you all next time bye